I'd like to discuss in some detail the use of the Pages system in the GardenCAD environment. You use it to present various aspects of a design on white sheets of paper, just as you would if you'd been drawing by hand. So if we type the page command up, will pop the dialog box that enables you to handle pages. And if for the sake of argument, I had set up a page as I've done here showing the irrigation design, I've got this on an A3 sheet and let's make it current. So the environment, our drawing environment will switch from and well, OK, we'll switch from the black background to the white background. And I've turned off layers and I've only got the information that I need for presentation to the, ir the irrigation installer. Let's hit the pages command again and we'll go to, let's say, planting, showing shadows. And I've got this on an A4 sheet. No particular system here. I've just chosen different sheets to do this. So we'll OK that. and. We should get to that, although I didn't say make it current, did I? So we're going to go to the shadows and we're going to make it current and OK it. And that will switch to another page. This time I've incorporated a photograph showing here's a compacted dolomite. It's not brick edging in this instance, but I'm showing the client the sort of thing that I want to achieve with the planting in this area. So uh, combining images like this, the design, and the logo and indication of north is useful. I'll repeat page and we'll go back to say the hardscape. Let's make it current and OK. So here we're showing just the um, pieces of the design, the two screens, the paving compacted dolomite and the rock path. They're all the things and some edging is going to go along here, which I've not detailed terribly well. Um, they're the things that my construction team has to install first before we even think about planting. Let's go back to page and finally to the actual planting, which is again on an A3 sheet. So you can have any size sheet you want, as you, as you can see in the drop down list. You can be as, and I'll make that uh, current and OK. You can be as creative as you want. There's nothing to stop you breaking your logo up and having a, uh, a version of it on a layer underneath uh, this design, have a subtle rendering of your logo. So you can do lots of things with the pages palette. And I'm sure you're more creative than I am in its use, but I hope that gives you some idea of how you might use the pages palette.